Hello, it's Jim Hutchins for the Jerusalem Connection Spot Report. Last week in the Jerusalem, uh, Jerusalem Post, I should say, there was a very, very interesting article. It was written by an architect by the name of Robert Inselman. And uh, the article was entitled, A Coherent and Rational Approach to Rebuilding the Third Temple, a Proposal for an International Architectural Competition. He says, <clears throat> We the Jews are lacking in a commodity almost every other nation possesses, namely self-respect. Even oppressed nations possess this, the Muslim nations and particularly the Arab ones most of all. What other nation, speaking of Israel, what other nation would have held its hand over 40 years from doing something about its most holy sites? So holy that few will even approach it while allowing outsiders to trample all over it and even worse, remove the archaeological remains of its original existence. He goes on, There is so much agitation presently about rebuilding the Third Temple, which seems even to be mounting towards some sort of a crescendo. He said, I propose an international architectural competition to be entitled the Temple Mount Holy to Three Faiths, which the world's greatest architects would be invited to submit proposals on how they would solve the problem of the situation on the Temple Mount and possibly rebuilding there uh, the Third Temple. The interest of in rebuilding the th t Third Temple uh, or doing something about the situation on the Temple Mount for some reason seems to be reaching such a fervor pitch at the present time. He suggests, for a start, let this theoretical competition be called for and held and let the most thoughtful, insightful, innovative, elegant, uh, and advanced ideas of how to move forward, to uh, let them be entertained. Then, Israel, let us proceed and do perhaps, and perhaps even rebuild something on the Temple Mount where it should be without affecting anyone else's rights there. He says, this would give even newer and greater meaning to the old Hebrew Zionist marching cry, blue, Bo Yisrael, lek uva, come Israel, it's time to proceed, let us begin. Or the old saying, kiva moed, the appointed time has come. Well, maybe that's right. Maybe this is the time for it. Uh, we do know from the scriptures that Messiah will not come or cannot come until there's a temple there. For example, uh, <clears throat> Paul says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, Concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus the Messiah and our being gathered together to him, we ask you, brothers, not to be easily unsettled or alarmed by some prophecy, letter, or report supposed to have come from us saying that the day of the Lord has come. That's when uh, the Lord comes in great power and glory. Every eye will see him. Uh, <clears throat> don't let anyone deceive you in any way that that day will, will not come until the rebellion occurs and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the man doomed for destruction. He will oppose and will exalt himself over everything that is called God or is worshipped, and so that he himself sets, him up and sets himself up in God's temple, proclaiming himself to be God. He sets himself up in God's temple, proclaiming himself to be God. Now, whatever this suggests, it presupposes the existing of a temple that does not e exist today. And so that has to come about. Jesus said uh, about this, he prophesied this in Matthew chapter 24. He said, verse 15, uh, So when you see standing in the holy place the abomination that causes desolation, and that's nothing more nor less than this man placing himself in the, uh, in the temple and claiming himself to be God. That's the abomination of desolation. He says, when you see that happen, uh, spoken up through the prophet Daniel, let the reader understand. The reader will understand. God's people will understand. They'll recognize this. This is nothing done in a closet or on the backside of the desert. It will be fully recognized. But until then, we look forward to the building of a temple. There are Christians who support this. There are many Orthodox in Israel who have supported for some time. Perhaps this is spreading to the conservatives, even the Reformed Jews. But it's going to happen, and we look forward to it. We support that. Kiva uh, Moed, Ulai Kiva Moed. Maybe now is the appointed time. Hopefully it is. 
Till next week, Od Ki Yavoshilo, or until Messiah comes, Shalom Aleichem.